Hello, all you scaredy cats and kittens. We are here for Mad Monster. It's been a few years since Scaredy Cast has been here. We're so excited to be back. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. fun socks look at ones he's wearing now Tony here. Uh, hi, we're here at Mad Monster. What's your name? Uh, Brandon. We're with Brandon. Uh, we're at Mad Monster. Brandon, what do you think about Mad Monster so far? Uh, Mad Monster is pretty awesome, man. Oh, man. Uh, so what do you do? Uh, I drive truck for a living. I mean, like at Mad Monster. Like, what do you do? What do you dress as? Uh, I'm dressed as uh, Mike Myers tonight, and then um, tomorrow I'll be dressed as uh, Oogie Boogie, and I don't think I have anything for uh, Sunday, really. Just going to be chilling because we have to pack up early. You ever thought about podcasting? Uh, I used to be on a podcast, like, back in the day. Like, it was crazy. Like, it was called Scaredy Cast. What? The fudge? Right? Guys, this is insane. Now we're doing the whole silent thing that we used to do on Scaredy Cast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. All right, you guys, I'm with Sean Call, who is with Sanctum of Horror. Um, I even got this really cool bag. Sean, can you tell us, what is Sanctum of Horror? Sanctum of Horror is a haunted house in uh, Mesa, Arizona. It's at Superstition Rings Mall. Um, we have two haunted houses. One is uh, Sanctum of Horror, uh, which you, this is, it's kind of themed pretty much like this. It's more of a traditional haunted house. Um, and then we have The Breach, which is more of a bioscience gone horribly wrong, kind of a spin on a John Carpenter movie, right? So it's, uh, it's interesting, a lot, of, a lot of bugs, a lot of, uh, you know, morphing into from human to uh, a creature, which is uh, interesting. Definitely interesting. So what made you want to be able to open up these horror houses? What inspired you to do this? Are you a fan of them? Did you have something happen to you? Uh, my kids. My kids, when they were uh, in uh, uh, later junior high, high school, they uh, went to a couple of small neighborhood haunts, uh, came home and said, can we do this in our garage? And I said, yes, we can. And uh, that started that. That was probably about 15 years ago. Uh, we did it at our house for uh, about five years, and then we went professional um, as a haunted house and just kept going. And it's an addiction. It's crazy. Has anyone actually experienced anything in one of your horror houses that maybe is unexplainable, wasn't a part of it? <laughs> uh, that's so funny you said that. So we have this, uh, yes, we do. There, there's always rumors of, of little knocks and interesting things. Um, it's, there's a ghost raccoon. Okay, there's a ghost raccoon. I don't know how to explain it, but this thing messes with stuff. And so we see it when we're... When we're building and we're, we're setting up our props and stuff, we will get just a glimpse of this ghost raccoon climbing down a wall or messing with things. It's very quick and uh, it's kind of, we talk about it all the time at night when we're there uh, late nights setting up for the season. And it's, it's kind of a traditional thing that we always discuss. It's very strange, I know. All right. All right. So we definitely need to check out this ghost raccoon. Uh, so we are actually going to talk about possibly holding a scaredy quest at Sanctum of Horror. Now, if anyone is interested, how do they find you? 
They can go to uh, sanctumofhorror.com um, and just look at you know all our information's on there, how to get tickets. You can get tickets online. Uh, we have plenty of videos and uh, some pictures and stuff of our work, which sets that you see here. Let me kind of illustrate that so people understand when they walk into the haunt how detailed it's going to be. There's a, definitely a storyline in both haunts. So it's not just running people through. You're going to be immersed about Lenore, who is in the sanctum house that killed her family and you're going to walk through every room and see the carnage and it's it's very nice i love it sean i can't wait to see ghost raccoon we'll see you guys there at sanctum of horror We are here at the Mad Monster Convention Party. I forgot what it's called. But uh, we just saw Danny Trejo walk past us. And he's like as short as Kelsey. And it was pretty surreal and crazy. There's like so many classic creepy like actors and actresses here and voice actors. It is so cool. And if you look down that way, you can see like there's like tattoo shops and all kinds of vendors and stuff and that's not even in the actual like room with the massive amount of vendors and tables and spooky stuff it's so cool and i can't believe we're just seeing like hollywood actors and like we saw jason and it, it's unbelievable this is really really cool and there's tone bone tony what'd you get i got a double vodka cranberry a double you so now you're on three and a beer yeah. this man I got he's going for it i gotta loosen up <laughs> we got to get him camera ready. This is amazing. Ready. Yeah, we got to get you camera ready when we got to get you loosey goosey. Dean Martin over here or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another one else I got my alcohol with me. Oh boy. Anyways, this is like super cool and we can't wait to take you guys inside. There is so much to see. It's really going to be fun. Michael. Um what do you think of Mad Monster so far? Uh, first day, a couple hours. It just opened a couple hours ago. Cool. Um, is there any celebrities here? Like, you know, there's a lot of guests here at Mad Monster. Is anybody here you're, like, looking forward to talking to or getting to meet? Anybody? Nick Castle's here. Um, I'm sure you know Nick Castle. Uh, did you get to talk to Nick Castle at all? Nick Castle played Michael Myers in the first Halloween. Um, Cool. Thanks. Uh, thanks. No. Now, has anything paranormal or weird or unexplainable happened to you guys? Yes. Yes, absolutely. First. <laughs> um, so I had this experience when I was a kid, and it was like kind of the first time that my parents and us like moved out of an apartment into a house. So we were in a big house, and I used to have to walk to school in the morning, and my parents would leave like five, ten minutes before me for work. I would, you know, walk out the garage door and lock up. Well, we had this like really old, and I mean like vintage television oh, that no. sat in the garage and I, basic <laughs> so cliche I was in the no I was in the bathroom getting ready for school and I heard some clinking in the kitchen and so I ran out to the kitchen and I'm like what the heck like I thought everybody left like I was there by myself and I noticed that the pans that were on the counter drying uh, were on the floor <laughs> and so I was like oh, I'm gonna go so I beelined it grabbed my bag and I ran out the garage door and I kid you not this tv was never plugged in okay like this tv did not work it was just there for looks like we used it as a shelf so when i open the garage door and i go and i turn around and i see this tv turn on and it's the white static this was after the pots fell yes after the pots fell so i was already freaking and then i see the static and i'm like i'm out i didn't even close the garage door i called my mom i was like something's going on i'm like i I'm sorry, you're probably gonna have to come back. <laughs> but sorry, I did not go not back. Sorry. I did not go back until somebody was home. And there were other instances too, but that was probably like the big one for me. All right, so Bex has never been more excited to go to school except for that day. Probably wanted to burn the house down. All right, now, Bunny, please tell us about your experience. Um, I actually found out I had an attachment. 
So this bounced from house to house, place to place. It was always attached. So should we leave right now? <laughs> no, 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 no. I made the mistake of giving it a name. Did not know that was something that you should not do. I was a kid. I was a kid. So I was just like, yeah, let's call him Bono or something. I don't know why Bono. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I've had everything from being slapped in the face in the middle of the night, like out of nowhere. I've had it tickle my feet, pull my hair, whisper my name in my ears. I've had things move around. Um, uh, the scariest was... Um, yeah, no, the scariest was I was... <laughs> I have to walk in the parking garage after this, you guys. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. The, the less you talk about it, the less you acknowledge it, the less you notice it there. Should we... No, 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 we're good, we're good. I'll just deal with it later, it's cool. I'll just get, like, zero sleep tonight. Uh, <laughs> no, but the scariest was um, I was actually staying the night at a friend's house, and he had left to go grab something, and I started getting this just creepy feeling. I knew it was there. I, you just feel an energy fluctuation. Um, so he, at the time, had just had a litter of kittens. The cats were all in the living room, so I was on the phone with my boyfriend because I was freaked out. He had to go to work, and this was like 4 in the morning. So I'm like, look, just can you just stay on the phone with me? So I walk into the living room to stay with the cats because, you know, comfort, it's animals. Uh, the cats start freaking out. And I'm like, okay, I need to get I need to get the French doors out of here. So I literally bolt out the front door because I'm like, just come and get me. I'm going to fall asleep in your car while you're at work. Like, get me out of here. I bolted out the door. No, I bolted out the door. I opened the door. There's literally nobody on the street. Okay. A car horn starts honking. It's not an alarm. It's honk, 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 honk. It's like literally right. Yeah, no, it scared the ever-loving shit out of me. Like, I screamed, slammed the door, and ran into my friend's mom's room. She was, like, dead asleep with, like, a whole apnea machine. Oh she has no recollection of me telling her this at all. But I was like, can I just stay with you? Like, I'm so scared. Like, yeah. It, 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 it ended up calming down, but yeah, it, it's been crazy ever that's, since. That's so. psycho. Literally one of the most scary stories I've ever heard. Um, like thank you, ladies, for sharing that. No, no. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, but I appreciate it. I still have goosebumps. I'm going to be scared walking to my car. But for anyone who wants more stories like that, wants more reviews, where can they find you? Where can they sign up? All they have to do is um, we have the barcode that you can scan if you are here at the Mad Monster Party. You can come and scan the barcode. Um, or you can go to horror-tv.com and sign up there. And again, our beta testers get that discounted $2.45 cent price and you keep that for the longevity of your subscription so awesome. if you're gonna do it do it now <laughs> thank you ladies do you have a sign off they usually do do you have a horror hottie sign off um no but usually. we need to make one we really need to make one all right though but all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I tony what'd you find i found some vhs tapes but there was nothing i really wanted oh nothing at all no. oh because i don't know if anybody knows this but you collect vhs and you have like all the horror classics and everything. But there's nothing you see, huh? Nothing you like? There's nothing I really liked. <laughs> Was there anything you liked there? I mean, they had a basketball VHS, which was cool, but like, eh. We are here with the Nick Castle. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. All right, now of course, everyone knows you from Halloween. Have you ever had a paranormal or a weird experience like that of your own? Paranormal? Or something unexplainable? Uh, unexplainable. Let me think about that. I'm really throwing it out there for you. Yeah. Well, you know, I once went to a medium uh, and they guessed some things about, you know, what my father did and where my family came from. And I always wondered about that, how they got that straight. And then, uh, but you know, I don't trust any of that. So I'm more of a materialist, let's say, in, in my philosophy. And nothing has dispelled me from that belief, really. Uh, I, I do have friends, like the guy that does uh, the new Michael Myers, Jim Courtney, who you're gonna have to interview someday. Talk to him about that, because he actually has his own very own, uh, uh, what do you call it, astrologer. <laughs> that he believes in and has gotten all kinds of great advice from, but not me. All right, so obviously, you know, you're known obviously for your Michael Myers. Yeah. We actually have someone going around claiming he's the Michael Myers. I'm sure you met him. All right. Are you a fan yourself of horror? 
prior to getting into this? Or how did you kind of, what inspired you to be able to do this? Do you love this kind of stuff that everyone is here at? Do you watch other horror movies? Right. You know, I got more into horror movies after I started to do these conventions because I started to meet other uh, actors, you know, in the green room, you know, when you're talking and you, before you go on and you meet all these people. Then you want to see what their work is like and then you get interested in the genre. I was always enjoyed the genre, but I kind of don't like to be scared. Oh, <laughs> As a, you know, I don't like slasher films, first of all, the movies I'm known for. I don't like the big bloody stuff. What I like are like ghost stories and stuff like that. I think they're really fun. Or like The Exorcist. That scared the hell out of me. Awesome. I definitely agree with you. I like being the scare, not the scary. So thank you so much for talking with us. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Awesome. You're thank welcome. You. Thanks, guys. <laughs> all right, gang. We did it. We met the real... The original, the OG, Michael Myers. And Danny Trejo. Are you kidding me? Uh, but they wouldn't let us interview him. So we did one interview, and then we did one interview, and then we got the... Got the yeah, they were like, oh, because bad people that, don't, that aren't scaredy cast and suck at interviews ruined it for everybody else. So we weren't allowed to uh, film any more after Michael Myers. But we got to like meet some really cool people and see like the original Jason... And the original Michael, and it was awesome and lots of cool stuff. So we had a freaking blast, and uh, we hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, where can they subscribe to us? Actually, you know what, Tony's good. That you should sit at ScaredyCast on Instagram, at the ScaredyCast on Twitter. Do it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs>